Hey guys, so today we're gonna be making personal nails. So first thing you wanna do with your nails is to put them on the stands, obviously. And then, uh, see the white stuff here? This is actually called tacking putty. And it usually comes when you buy the personal nails. And it's like this white color. And you can either use that or these nail sticky tabs, which I'm just trying out now. Honestly, I like them a lot better, but I only have so many, so we're using a mix of them. So the first thing you want to do is use a lint-free wipe and the lint-free wipe you're going to use um, acetone to chemically etch it. I already did it to these, I didn't record it. But all you have to do is basically get one of these things and then get the nail and like put acetone on it and just wipe the nail. And that just makes sure that the gel actually has something to stick to because it needs like a rough surface. So you can either use that or you can use a buffer and just buff them, which I also do if I'm doing my own nails that I'm doing with the gel X instead of press-ons because when you file the bottom, you can make it more thin so it's more natural when you wear it. That's what I do when I work these on. But so I'm using this Beatles gel color for my base coat and it's... Sorry, thank you. So the color is B657 pick my nails up and I paint them but basically when you paint them you just want to make sure you don't use too much pressure because you don't want your gels to cure and then the nail polish to be streaky because it just doesn't look good I mean unless you like that look but I don't think anyone does I'm just painting the nail so this is the base coat make sure you do a really thin coat because when you add thicker coats then it makes the nail look thick and bulky and it just doesn't look as natural so if you want it to look more acrylic like i would do a really thin coat so the set i'm doing is going to be like a green french tip with white swirls on it and it's kind of just like a springy nail So once you're finally done doing your base coat, or if you're just doing a solid color, just the first coat of polish, you want to cure them in a UV lamp for, it depends on the type of polish, but this one is going to be 60 to 90 seconds. Okay, so I just put my nails in this UV lamp, so I actually got the wrong one on accident because you need a reflective bottom so it gets fairly cured like all around the nail. So I just put the tin foil underneath because it helps it with the reflective surface, but make sure to always do at least... Um, what it says on the bottle because sometimes it says 60 to 90 seconds but you always want to do more than that because i usually find that my nails are a little bit sticky after i take them out and then you can accidentally put like fingerprints on the nail polish so you always want to do a little bit don't like overcare them but you always don't want to do the minimum amount now you want to just do your second coat even if you're just doing one color you always want to do two coats because then your nail polish is usually it's like clear so you want it to be opaque unless you're going for a clearer look but So after you do the second base coat, you just want to cure it again for 60 to 90 seconds. And I'm just not going to record that part. I'm doing a design and it's going to be like a green French tip thing. Um, honestly, doing the pinky is easiest, but I'm going to start with the thumb. Let's see if I can do this. I usually use like the liner gels that already come with the line, but today I'm using a brush. So I'm not sure how it's going to go. I'm going to do this off camera because it's really hard to do underneath the camera. I need more polish. 
So this is actually the screen color I didn't buy. That's why I had to use a non-gel liner thing because it didn't have the color I wanted. But it's actually really hard to make the color because I need like enough to fill up the whole thing. But the color is just like disappearing or something. <laughs> If you mix a color, all you have to do is use tin foil if you don't have like a mixing plate, which I don't have yet because all my stuff is mm, I haven't ordered well yet. So basically, just get tin foil and then put the nail polish on and just mix it with like a brush. Or I actually use it's like dotting tool, which you use to make dots. It doesn't really matter. Or you could just get a mixing plate, but I just don't have one yet. This is a green French tip. It's actually slaying so hard. Okay, so this is the color I just made. It's like, this green color is literally gonna be a tempo. But if you're just doing it at home, I wouldn't buy a nail plate yet. Um, so this is the French tip. It's kinda hard to see. But basically, on suggestions, some people like to do a, on how to do those, like a line and then like do two V's next to it. But honestly, for this one, I kind of just did like two lines that cross over like here and then this way. And then I connected them and then painted them. But it really just depends on how you like to do it. And it's a lot of like what works for you. So if you ever mess up on the design, you can always take a non a non lint free white and then spray some alcohol on it and just wipe it away and it will go away. Quick. And I won't take off the nail polish base too because if you cured it correctly, then it should be cured and it should stay on the nail. And then also, so if you ever make a little mess up on the French tip, like see on um, on the side, the design is a little bit messed up. You can always take a flat brush like this. You can always take a flat brush and dip it in acetone. And then once you dip it, it's you can use it to clean up any design. Literally. So just doing these French tips according to my camera, and it might have been a little bit longer, so I did a little bit of cutting. This took me 25 to 30 minutes. So, so I finally painted all of the French tips, which took me such a long time. And next, I'm going to draw some white swirly lines on the French tips. But actually, though, I'm actually so proud of myself this time because. I don't know, I usually struggle so much with French tips, but these actually look so good. So, just like a pro tip for you guys, if you ever want your lines to be thinner, um, I would recommend buying a really thin brush on Amazon or someplace instead of using these. Like, I do love these liners and they do work for some designs, but if you want really thin lines, I would use a brush like this because it just really helps get precise with the lines, you know? And then this one is a, a bit thicker, but I still love both of them, so do whatever you prefer. So I actually forgot to record this, but I just, I actually chose to do this design. So I basically just did a light green French tip with some white swirls on it. And then I outlined the white, the French tip with this uh, white. And then, so I actually just forgot to record. But that's the final design. So you make sure you want to cure it after every single layer of the design so you don't smudge anything and so everything stays good. So finally, you want to do a top coat. So you, I recommend getting a non-wipe top coat. I have this one from Beatles. 
is literally just their top coat. And when you apply the top coat, make sure to use, make sure like the brush is like parallel almost to the nail and make sure it's really like light pressure. Cause then you can get, um, it just helps make the top coat not look so streaky and make it look nice and shiny, which is what you want your nails to look like and make it look glossy. So I'm actually really proud of myself for these nails because recently my nail designs have been looking not very good, but I actually really like these and maybe I'll wear them, but right now I'm going to keep the nails I have them right now. Okay, and then another thing I forgot to say is make sure you add like the top coat on the tip like this because if you add the top coat on the tip here, then it makes it non-chip and like the nail polish won't chip on the end. I actually learned this tip from a YouTuber. She's called um, Simply Nailogical, I'm pretty sure. I used to watch her a lot when I was younger and that just helps. You can do that with actually your base coat too. I just didn't do it because I was putting the green on top anyway. So I did that with the green instead. But that just makes sure there's color on the tip too. And it makes sure that it doesn't nail polish won't chip and like get all messed up. And plus when you're like doing daily day-to-day -day stuff, it helps protect the nail. So when you're like using the tip of your nail, it doesn't get all messed up because there's no top coat on it. Also, I don't recommend skipping the top coat because Adding top coat actually helps a lot because it makes the nails a lot shinier and glossy than what they would look like normally and which just adds to your nails and makes them last longer because when you don't use the top coat um like your design and stuff underneath can get messed up and then your nails will look kind of ugly i mean of course the top coat is going to wear down too but you would rather have that wear down first than the design And you know what's also really nice about press-ons is you can make you can turn the nail to the side and anywhere just to make sure it's all covered. Okay, and then the last step is secure your nails. And when you care them for the top coat, I would also recommend doing it for the max amount of time you should cure them. So this one says 90 to 120 seconds, so I'm gonna do 120 just so it's completely cured and nothing is sticky after. It's just a green and white swirly design with some French tips. So, okay, bye.